Kelsey from Great Escape Fitness. Today I am going to have a functional workout for you that you can do right here in your living room. Um, welcome to my apartment. So I'm going to be utilizing a pillow, a couch, um, and the floor. So make sure you have a soft surface for the ground. Um, and then we're going to start today with a warm up. Yeah! Alright, so let's warm up with arm circles. So keep your core nice and tight and we're moving our arms in a circle forward. And let's begin. So we're going forward. So we're nice to be able to do a full cardio workout right here in the living room. Um, the only weights or the only equipment you need is a pillow and a couch. Um, and that's about it. I like to focus a lot on full body exercise training and really focusing on using your own body weight. And let's go backwards with the arms. Take it into a march. So high knee march here. Squatch feet shoulder width apart, you're going down and up. So just nice and easy, doesn't have to be a deep squat here. Let's get going with our first exercise. Go ahead, take a seat on your 
let's go for a let's go for 45 seconds and then we'll get a 15 second rest and move on to our next exercise so legs up here balance on the side you're going out and then in together Arms are coming 
here and doing a push up off the couch. And let's begin. Really focus on keeping your body in a straight line, not having your hips out this way or duck too far down. Let's do one 
more rep and then rest. Shake out your arms. Good job. I'll have you take a pillow or something unstable that you can stand on here. Um, you can use the couch for some mounts if you need a chair, a cane, anything like that. Go ahead and use it. Let's start with our right leg on here. The pillow is just going to add a little unevenness. And what we're going to be doing here, we're going to tap forward, tap to the side, and tap back. Little bend in the standing knee. And let's begin. So you tap down. Just kind of tap very lightly. It's going to help with your balance, knee stabilization. Working a lot of muscles in your leg here. One leg on, and then let's begin. So tap forward, tap to the side, and tap back. Let's focus throughout this whole exercise. One more set in this round. Go ahead and take a seat. Grab a pillow. We're going to be up in this position, but this time all we're going to be doing is squeezing together with our legs. Squeeze the pillow. Hold for five seconds and then we're going to relax. I'll tell you when to hold and relax. So when in position, here we go. Squeeze together. Relax. Squeeze. Relax. Squeeze again. Relax. Squeeze again. Be tough. We're almost to the end. Relax. One last squeeze, really squeeze tight. And then relax, very good. We're going back up to the top of that section of four. So we're gonna start with our sit to stands. So go ahead, grab that pillow again. And let's begin. So remember you're here, come all the way up. Just graze the couch as you come back down. Great job, couple more reps here. Good, relax. We're setting up for our tricep dips. Couple deep breaths here. And begin. So you're dipping down, focusing on your elbows going straight back behind you. to the floor working on your stabilization on this one here let's start again with our right foot on the pillow remember 
remember we're tapping forward, side, and then backwards. And let's begin. So tap forward, side, and then back. Stay focused and stable. One more round. Good. Let's switch sides. And begin. Tap forward, side, and then back. Begin with some light stretching. Go ahead, grab your right leg, pull your knee or your foot up to your butt, and then I want you to tuck down under your, your tailbone underneath you. You'll feel a deeper stretch in the front. If you need to hold on to something, that's okay too. Just really get a nice stretch in the front of your leg. And then concentrate on slowing your breathing down. So in through your nose, out through your mouth.
your body warmed up um, and your muscles ready to work out. Um, this will help you to reduce injuries that can occur um, if your body's not ready or if you don't properly stretch at the end. So it's really important to take the time to stretch and work on your flexibility. That concludes our functional home workout for today. If you enjoyed it, leave comments and like my Facebook page. Uh, you'll find out more information. At